Hey everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create a crystal ballroom gown in the fashion illustration style using the Color Therapy app. Fashion illustration focuses on capturing the essence of the outfit and often includes the rough sketch lines done in a gestural feel. Okay, so here's an example of something that we're gonna aim for as our inspiration. So it's a very lightweight looking ball gown with lots of tulle, and you can see there's crystals all over the dress like that. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that coloring inside the lines mode is set to off. And now underneath the basic palette, just choose a nice light blue. And then let's go under the manual mode and select the flat brush. Let's set the size really high at about 75 and the opacity at 45. So now using a downward motion with your finger, just start adding in strokes, coming down the ball gown and kind of going with the flow of the lines there. Now let's lower the opacity about to 30. And in the basic palette, let's add in a little bit of a darker blue now towards the top mostly, focusing up there. And then I'm just adding in another layer. And you can add in another darker bluish purple tone if you'd like as well. Now let's lower the size to 30 and zoom into the bust area. Now with blue and purple, you're going to draw vertical lines going up and down, going with the curve of the bust right there. And I'm gonna use a purple as well, just to differentiate a change in the outfit right there. And for the upper part of the dress, just draw in horizontal lines. And I'm using that purple and blue again. Now let's blend in the bottom of the dress a little bit. So let's select the airbrush tool. Let's set the size to 45 and the opacity at about 85. Now with a basic white, you're just gonna draw strokes upward from the bottom of the dress towards the top of the dress. And it's just gonna sort of help to blend in those lines so they're not too harsh. Now go ahead and choose a skin shade and switch back over to the flat brush. And let's go ahead and just start to add in some color into the face and the neck, as well as the arms. Now you wanna choose a darker skin shade so you can add a bit of a shadow and turn coloring inside the lines mode to on. Now just start to add in a shadow around the neck and shoulders. You can basically just trace it. For the face, make sure coloring inside the lines mode is set to off so that it blends in well. And then choose a hair shade that you like and you want to set coloring inside the lines mode to on for that and then you can just sort of fill it in with your flat brush tool. And then I'm going to color her lips only and not do anything else on her face. I'm just going to choose a pink from the Vibrant palette and just kind of color them in quickly. Now let's draw some gestural lines. Select the marker tool. Set the size to 8 and the opacity at 25. And then with a dark gray, you're just going to start to trace the dress. So make sure coloring inside the lines mode is off and you can just trace it there. And I'm kind of doing it really loosely. Lots of wiggly lines here. And then I'll bring some lines down into the dress as well and bring them up. Let your hand really just flow with it. Draw what you think would look like layers in the dress. And you can do the same thing for up here. Now switch to black and we're gonna add a little more contrast. Let's set the size to one and opacity at about 20. And I'm going to trace over our dress again with these lines. Sort of doing the same type of lines, bringing a few up here and, and down and kind of just showing those folds and layers of tulle in the dress. Now let's add in some crystals. So select the splatter tool. Let's set the size to 100 and the opacity to 80 and just kind of dot in a few areas where you would like to have crystals at the top. You can lower this opacity a little bit just to add a few more down below so it blends in. And now select the pen tool, set the opacity to 100 and the size to about 4%. And just zoom in and add in your own little tiny circles for the crystals here so that we have a little bit more definition. Now, if you want to define those crystals a little more, select black and then in under the pen tool, set the size to one and opacity at 80%. And then you can just sort of trace around those crystals, do like a half moon shape and you can just kind of trace as many as you want. And then I would use the blue color that we used for the dress and just add a little layer of, it's sort of a C shape kind of tracing again inside that crystal. And then what you can do now is select white raise your opacity to 100 and then draw bright little starbursts right in the middle of those. Remember, fashion illustration is meant to be a quick idea with color splashed on and a few emphasis lines. So don't spend too much time on getting it right and let yourself enjoy expressing yourself. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.